using Quora to engage your audience. Hey there, friends. Quora is a question and answer website with a social media twist, which means that there are plenty of ways of using it to engage your audience. In this lesson, we are going to uncover those Quora features that allow you to interact with Quora users in a way that enhances the reputation of your personal brand and your business. Questions for you. One of the best ways to let Quora users know about your profile is through questions for you. When you follow topics and interests in Quora, you will receive questions made about those topics directly into your questions feed. To find these questions for you, Simply click on the answer icon in the top bar menu from anywhere in your Quora account. This will take you to the questions page, where you'll find your questions feed. Here you'll find questions that you can answer under the questions for you column. As you can see, these are questions made about the topics that we selected when we first created the account. One of the advantages of keeping an eye on this section is that it allows you the opportunity to be the first to reply to a question for you. As a strategy, we suggest you to pick an hour of the day when you are free to dedicate time to reply to questions for you. That way, you can stay on this page and refresh to see which questions have no answers, so you can be the first to reply. Additionally, there's a way for users to send questions directly to you when they compose a question. Once you grow as a contributor, Quora will suggest your profile to people asking questions in topics that you follow. These direct questions are called answer requests, and you will find them by clicking on the Answer Request tab under Questions. Upvote and Downvote Quora users can upvote or downvote answers according to how helpful they are. Users can upvote an answer by clicking on the Upvote icon below an answer and they can downvote the answer by clicking on the downvote button located opposite to the upvote button. Upvoting an answer is the way in which users approve a reply. An upvote not only means that you've given a good answer, it also means that the user that upvoted you perceives you as an authority. This is because upvotes on Quora are not the same as likes in other social channels, because upvotes are given to answers that users want to see on top. This means that you have to work towards getting as many upvotes by providing answers that are not only satisfactory, but that are also helpful, and provides plenty of insight into the topic. You also have to make an effort to get early upvotes by replying first or second. Edit your answers. You can edit answers after you've submitted them. This can help you to include additional information or to update an old answer. This works similar to updating content from your blog because the Quora algorithm, as well as search engines, index these changes. To edit an answer, you'll simply have to locate the answer that you want to edit by going to your content page first. To do this, click on the Profile button and then on the Your Content tab. Once on the Your Content page, click on the Answer shortcut under Content Type. Next, click on the title of the question where you left an answer. This will take you to your answer. Now you'll simply have to click on the More icon and then on the Edit Answer option. Pin an answer. You can pin your answers to your profile so your profile visitors can see your most thoughtful content right when they're checking information about you, your brand, and your expertise. To pin an answer to your profile, simply locate the answer that you want to pin and click on the More icon. Next, click on the Pin to Profile option. Now your answer will be pinned to the top of your profile. To see how it looks, simply click on the Profile button, and then click on the Menu tab with your name. As you can see here, the answer has been pinned to your profile, and it appears right below your bio. Awesome job! Want to learn more effective ways to expand your brand's online presence with Quora? Then let's head to the following lesson.